Hello, everyone. John Doyle from Optics EQ. Today's video race of the day is Goldstream Park race four on Thursday, January the 13th. And the reason I picked this race is it coincides with a video I sent out to our subscribers um, just earlier, and that's about quadrant three. Uh, I get a lot of questions on how to manage quadrant three horses. Hopefully, that video cl clears a lot of things up. And hopefully, this video kind of shows you a kind of an application of it. And because there's a great quadrant three runner that looks pretty decent in this race, and that's the number two Meyer. Uh, first of all, let's look at the plot fit and the contention of the race. Uh, plot fits, red contentions, average and speed ratings, a little bit above average, okay? So, but the one thing I really want you to notice is the run styles comparatively here. I mean, looks like everybody is pretty much a PC or C. So there's really no speed horses in this race per se. And uh, so if a horse, one of these PCs or Cs can kind of get the early pace, they may be able to back the field up and then re-break. And so that's what I'm thinking on with this number two. He sits all the way to the left, Meyer, and he's got a big square. And if he can get to the lead, he's because he's got tactical speed. If he can make the front, uh, he may dictate the pace and be able to kick home because he's best finisher in the race. So he's eight to one in the morning lines coming off a bit of a layoff. But uh, I just thought this horse was very interesting. And this is a quadrant three horse you want to really consider when you start looking at quadrant three horses. Because, again, uh, the for the most part, you have a pretty clean quadrant one. There's not a lot of horses all the way to the left in quadrant one. I guess the four might be the only horse that could um, you know, be considered another speed horse in this race. Uh, but it looks like the two might have an edge. And like I said, if they're really focused on getting the lead, uh, this horse could be long gone. So let's look at uh, his, let's look at his uh, form, clear the filters here. I'm gonna get the number two. Um, this horse is coming in from Woodbine. Um, you know, the, the only concern I have with that, you know, they go from winter to, to warm weather. And they got to make the transition. Uh, he's run once on the dirt. This race is on turf, uh, and he had a trouble start uh, at Gulfstream. That's only a Gulfstream race. Basically, he's got woodbine form. Uh, this horse can route on the turf. He's kind of been running in this around this level at woodbine. Um, last race, he didn't have any cover. He ran a you know decent fourth, beaten four lanes. Uh, just kind of fits. If he, the one thing you're going to notice on this horse is. Uh, like I said, he's got kind of tactical speed. He hasn't ever been like a front runner, except maybe two back. He was a front runner. He tired late in, in that race, but he was dueling. He may not get a duel today because there's really not much pace in this race. And when you start looking at the other runners, with the exception of maybe the four, um, you know, th these are horses like to come from behind. Okay. So let's look at the number four. He was another horse I thought from an early pace perspective uh, could be forward, especially with Lopez could be aggressive, but this horse looks kind of on the cheap side. So even if he were to get the lead, maybe the two can sit just off him uh, and then out kick him going home. So um, again, you know, the, the two, I mean, he just fits on numbers. I like that. I'm really playing the, the plot profile in this race. He fits on numbers. He kind of fits on class. Um, you know, does he translate his woodbine form? He, he, he's run well enough on turf. Uh, it just kind of looks like a horse that's, uh, Got a big shot in here. Uh, the other thing I want to just point out is like, just so you know where the tactical speed comes from, let's just look at um, starts of races. I'm going to just equal the one here. And you can see the two is a horse that gets out of the gate. So sometimes the other thing you want to just make sure, and that's kind of what we're seeing there, he gets out of the gate well. So for me, this is a great application of a quadrant three horse that looks good on the form, right? Not a lot of pace up in front of him. Um, so that he's tactical and he's got a good square. That means his finishability relative to this field looks really good. So Meyer, we're going to take a shot off the 56-day layoff uh, in race four at Goldstream Park on Thursday, January 13th. Uh, if you want more information like this, go to our website, opticseq.com. If you want to do a video with me, I've got some good requests. We're going to start doing some on the weekends uh, with video guests people that want to join in and pick a race and handicap with us. So uh, looking forward to any more feedback questions. Keep them coming. Thanks a lot.